say I've been getting tatted They say they like my thing, yeah I say that I'm flattered They ask me where I've been I say I've been getting tatted Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be going over the five reasons why you should buy the first gen M52 engine. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is there's a lot of variables to the M52, the first gen, and the M52N, and the K engines. Now, a lot of people are buying all the M52s and saying they've got an M52, but I just want to really let people see the differences. Now, this isn't like I say to criticize anyone's cars or their M52 engine. This is more to show you what yours is missing on the reason why BMW changed it and how the newer M52 engine is actually more expensive to maintain than the first gen one. And I think, I don't understand why BMW actually changed that. They should have left it as this one, but they did. So let's go over the things and why they have changed on the reasons why I love the first gen engine over any of the other M52 engines. Okay guys, so as you'll see here, this is the M52 engine, which as you'll see, mine's got the silver engine cover, which a lot of you always come to me telling me yours has got the black one. And I'm gonna tell you the reasons for this and differences between the black one and the silver one. So, the first one will be, of course, is the silver engine cover. Now, the, the reason for this is because this has a magnesium valve cover. Now, if you've got an F2 engine with the silver cover underneath, which don't be always full because a lot of people do change them and put the silver one on top, as you probably would have seen on other people's videos. They're using the new M52 engine, but they're using a silver plastic cover as well, just as an engine cover because it's the only one they could source. But the reason for this, having a silver one, this was the first gen M52 engine, and this one uses a magnesium valve cover, where, as you guys will know on the M52N and the M52K, they use a plastic valve cover. Now, that isn't as reliable as the first gen M52 engine, and I'll tell you why. Because the magnesium valve cover doesn't crack like the plastic ones do. Second reason why is that the valve cover on this doesn't have the CCV built in, which makes it a lot more cheaper to maintain and fix. As you guys will know, the CCV, the ball, it sits under there, underneath the manifold connected there, and all you gotta do is the pipe. So if you do take this valve cover off by any chance, and your pipe breaks, you just have to replace the pipe. If you're not breaking the CCV on the plastic one, you need to buy a whole new valve cover. So it ends up being a lot more expensive. Now, a lot of people ain't aware of that, but that's the first difference on these. The second one on these is that the CCV on these is down here, as you guys will see, and it all goes to the manifold on a big ball ball. Um, on the new ones, which is with the black valve cover, you've got one pipe that runs from there, and it's got two pieces on it, which looks like a Y shape, and it connects onto the manifold. Now, another reason for that is because when you got the new M52K, which is in the US, as many of you guys will know, you don't have the three stage manifold. So you won't have the dissers, which if you get the silver one, which is the 330XI, I believe in the 330Is, you will have the disser valves. But after 2007, BMW decided to change that and make it into a black valve cover, which then you end up losing the disser valves, which then end up reducing power. And it was all to save power, stop emissions, as they believe that the power band for this engine was what was causing the cylinder head to go. And that's why they were changing out cylinder heads. So that's why they rectified this year and got rid of the three stage manifold on a lot of cars as you guys will know when you watch my videos a lot of you comment saying you don't have the disavows. valves that's the reason why if you've got the black valve cover you won't have them in the UK that's not the same if we've got M52 and M53 ends up coming with the three stage manifold as well even though the M53 just want to state if you do take off the manifold it ends up looking like a M54 engine without the manifold that's all it is the only difference that the M53's got is the two dissers which is the three stage manifold but apart from that, this is the reason why the M52 first gen is completely different. The next one on this engine is the ECU. On the first gen M52 engines, they run on MSV70. On the second gen, which is the M52K and M52N, they run on MSV80. Now, MSV80 was a detuned version of the mapping, which was on MSV70. The MSV70 had a very aggressive mapping, and that's why BMW tuned it down as well on the MSV80, because they got rid of the three-stage manifold, and they got rid of the MSV70 ECU, because the MSV70 ECU was a really good ECU, and it made this M52 engine really go like stink. And that's another reason why they got rid of it. Also, the first gen M52 engines didn't really suffer an issue with the water pumps. As you know, the water pumps sit right down here, which is connected all up to the water hoses. It's right down there. We're gonna be changing it soon on this engine. 
and it didn't really suffer an issue on these engines. It was the black ones that they were suffering major issues from and I believe that was because Peerberg had a fault with them and they were fitting them and that's why a lot of them were failing. But they didn't really have a fault so much on the first gen M52 engines. That's why you, if you see a lot of the first gen ones didn't have, don't have their water pump changed. So the next one I just want to state on this guys is that this was the only M52 engine to make 258 bhp which is the first gen ones with the silver valve cover after that the k and the m both end up being restricted and losing the three stage manifold later on in 2007 that's why here they went to the m53 engine to try and keep the three stage manifold but keep the power at the same time that's how they made 272 bhp but in the us that wasn't the case they completely got rid of it and lowered your power band i think it was one to do with emissions and two to do with stop uh, blowing the cylinder head because it was too much power for this engine um you know and that was the main reason of it and also with the camshaft bearing ledges problem with the oil wasn't getting up there's a lot to do with it where people were just you know high rpm in it as soon as it was cold and that was causing the camshaft bearing ledges to go out on these cars and that's the whole reason why bmw completely took away the first gen m52 engine but overall this is the best engine you can buy if you're looking to go in the market to buy an m52 engine i would recommend looking for the silver valve cover because you get the full-on power with the three-stage manifold you get the magnesium valve cover which is going to save you tons of money in the end because the ccv kit can cost you anywhere between 70 pounds on its own instead of you know a hundred and something quid for a valve cover and then including the gaskets you know it works out more expensive and plus you've got to buy the hose where with this you get the whole hoses and the ccv then you've only got to buy the valve cover the magnesium ones ain't hard to change either they're a lot better and i prefer them so it is something you have to be aware of on these that's the only variables to the m first gen m52 and the m52n and the m52k is the ecu the ccv and the valve cover the rest of the engines were exactly the same the oil housing gasket stayed the same nothing really changed it was just a power band and that was like i said because the mw thought in their heads that there was a problem with this engine now you can change the mapping on the msv 80s to have it like msv 70 i have done that i'm in the process of doing that with nathan as we speak on his e90 we have got the three stage manifold now working all the discs are working um we just need to do the mapping and change it over in the cast and everything else and I have to change the mapping there for it all to run uh, perfectly but apart from that guys there isn't much differences the m52 the first gen is a brilliant engine and i'm not saying the m52k and m52n isn't a brilliant engine it is but it is more expensive to maintain the fact that you've got to buy a new valve cover all the time, change the CCV. You've got to change the whole piping, which the piping don't come with it. You know, it is a big expense when you think about it. When you work out the price of valve cover, $120 for a genuine one. Then the price of the gaskets, which are probably about, I don't know, you know, 30, 40, 40 quid. Then the wipe pipe, $200 for this. You can buy 70 quid for the CCV system itself. Then the gasket of 50 pound and that's it. And then the new bolts, which isn't nothing really when you think about it, it works out a lot cheaper. BMW changed it, you know, took the power away from a lot of people, which I know a lot of people aren't gonna be probably impressed with. But that was the whole reason for it. It was because BMW had this philosophy thinking that was what was destroying the cylinder heads and the lifters on the newer engines, but you guys already know. The lifter problem actually stayed even on the m52n and k engines people are still getting it so it didn't rectify it so bmw caused a whole catastrophe removing all these parts thinking it was going to help the engine instead they could have just left it the way it was you know people would say oh because of my ticking at my cylinder head's damaged my cylinder head ain't damaged all you guys know this engine's very very well looked after than anything it needs it gets and this is why i love the first gen m52 engine and that's why we do get the m52n engine here which was the black valve cover but that's why I chose to avoid it at all costs. For that reason, it is high maintenance and it does require a lot more money than the first gen M52. And everyone will tell you that anyone in the UK knows the first gen M52 is probably one of the best engines BMW ever produced. BMW will say it's not the best engine they ever produced. That's because they want you to go to the other one. It's a lot more money, but I prefer this engine. This engine is a lot more simpler as well. So if you are in the market looking for an M52, make sure you purchase the first gen M52 engine. Okay guys, so as you would have just seen now, I've just gone over the differences between the first gen M52, the M52N and the M52K. Like I said, there's a lot of variables to it. A lot of people ain't aware. This is why a lot of you messaged in my video saying to me that my CCV is not the same on your car. Yes, they're all M52, but BMW decided to change the parts to make it more expensive and more ineffective to actually repair the car. And that way you're always going to struggle to find the parts. This is the whole problem with it. 
I do prefer the first gen M52 engine and if you guys are in the market looking for an M52, I recommend you go and find a first gen M52 engine. The 330XIs, the 330Is will have this, the same as in this country as well. The 530i, but you may to make sure they're from 2006. Anything from 2007 will have the plastic valve cover. If it's on the E60, it may have the M53 engine. Same for the E90s as well. You've got to be careful. I know the E63s still come with the M52N engine, which is a great result. It still comes with the three-stage manifold, but in the US, they took three-stage manifold away from you guys and restricted your whole power and made the car run with power without the three-stage manifold which i don't think was fair but you know who knows why they did that but they did what they did but if you want the best m52 engine get this one with the msv7 ecu is very easily tunable very easy to repair and very easy to do anything if the ecu was to go down so i hope you've enjoyed this video guys this is bmw dr dean here thank you very much for watching and goodbye